Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Delmar again, and today I'm really excited because I'm gonna continue the videos with virtual reality. In this video, I'm going to be focusing on a new asset that the Mozilla team actually released to the Unity Asset Store. The results are shown behind the scenes, and this asset is going to allow you to build WebXR experiences in the web with your virtual reality device. So let me show you some of these components by jumping into Unity. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, so let me show you some of the components that are available. And first of all, make sure you download the latest. This is video two of basically two videos that I just posted on WebXR. So if you search for WebXR, you're gonna find the Mozilla WebXR exporter. And I already up, basically updated it, also imported it. They just updated this asset not too long ago in April 15th. So I figured I needed to do a new video for my community. So click on import and then that's going to import it into your Unity. And then once you import it, you're gonna see a couple of things in here. You're gonna see the WebGL templates, which you're gonna need if you want to build this to, you know, to run it on the on the actual browser. And you can also look at the WebXR component. That's what we're gonna be looking at most of it. The scene that I have right now, I made a few modifications, but the scene is basically already stored in the samples folder. So if you go to the samples folder, desert, you're gonna see the WebXR scene, which is the one that I have. The only thing that I change is basically I enable the reflection props. I also change this and I also enable real time baking. That way, you know, everything I'm, every time I make a change, everything changes. So, so some of the things that are gonna be in here that you're gonna need are going to be the WebXR camera set, which is going to contain the hand left and also the right hand. And it also has a few cameras in there that they have already set up for you. The other thing that is important is going to be the interactable. So you don't really need to add any special script to be able to make this work. All you're gonna need is any type of component that you want to interact with. It's gonna need a rigid body, it's gonna need a box collider, and it's also going to need the tag. So make sure you have this tag, otherwise it's not going to work. And then as you can see, if I click on this one, it also has a collider. In this case, it's going to be a sphere collider, and then also an interactable. This one also enable the, I enable the reflection process, but that is basically, you know, not required. I just wanted to see how the hands look when I, when I ran the demo. So just know that you're gonna need the physics components and you're gonna need also the tag, and then you're gonna need the WebXR camera set. So if you wanna add that to your own scene, all you really need to do is go into WebXR, then go into prefabs, and then just drag and drop the WebXR camera set. You're gonna see that it's going to look exactly as the one that we already have. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete it. Then a few more things to consider just to know for your own information is if you want to know how this works in addition to, you know, understanding, you know, the components that you need, there's also a lot of scripts in here that the Mozilla team provides to you. A lot of these is basically how they're binding the information from the Firefox browser, the WebXR component into Unity. So they have this WebXR manager, which is the one responsible for sending some of that information from the browser to Unity, and you can see if you scroll down here to the on WebXR data, that's how they're handling this data. Data comes in, and then they're basically serializing that data, converting it into the WebXR controller data, which we're not gonna go into that because that's basically their framework, so we're not gonna be touching that. I just wanted you to know that that is available, and that's how they're getting the information in there. There's also a couple of plugins in here, the WebXR, they, uh, those are the plugins that they provide, so there's really nothing that you need to do with those, just know that they are available as well in there. Now let's go into the hand left and I wanna show you the setup that Mozilla has. The The first one is gonna be the rigid body, the fixed joint, and also the sphere collider. These three components in here are going to be requirements of the desert controller interaction. So if you have this script and you can basically you know inherit from that or create your own, but that script is going to have those requirements at the top of the script. So you don't really need to do anything with that. Just know that these are gonna be required and they're gonna be coming in as soon as you add that script. The other ones that are going to be able, you're gonna be able to move the controllers is because there's this WebXR controller that you have. So if you need to do something similar to that, just know that this is the one that is basically controlling when you grab an object and when you let go of an object. They also have a scriptable object in here that is handling the mappings. So in this case, they're basically mapping the action, which is called trigger, with the Unity input, input name, which is called the trigger left, and then doing the same thing with the grip, and then mapping that with the input name that Unity has, which is the grip left. So 
that's going to be the same thing for the left and also the right hand. So the only thing that changes here is just adding them. And then the other thing, like I said, is just basically most of it is just, you know, environmental assets that they have available. So like I said, if you wanted to create your own scene, all you really need is this and then just your the objects that you're going to be interacting with. Once you're ready to build this and you want to see it in your browser, basically what you need to do is just go into Build Settings, make sure they have WebGL enabled, and also the scene that we're going to be building. In this case, I'm going to be building WebXR. So I added that scene as one of the build scenes. And then just select and make sure you have that as a target. So one thing that is going to be really important, make sure that you go into PC, Mac, and Linux, scroll all the way to the very bottom, and enable virtual reality supported. We're going to be checking that in. And that's going to basically allow you to run with the Unity editor and also having your device connected. Then you're going to go into WebGL and we're going to go into resolution and presentation. Make sure you have the WebXR selected and then just give it a description, give it meta DAX if you need it, and also a name. Once you get that all set up, all you have to do is just basically click on build and run, select the location. I'm going to put it in my desktop and then you can just build it there and it's going to build in, you know, in a way that you can run it and also connect it to your device by using the browser. So that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video today. If you guys have any questions about WebXR, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out LearnXR.io, where I'm basically doing augmented reality and also virtual reality training. And also find me in Patreon.com, where I'm basically posting early access source code and also everything that I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.